part of everything that has gone on. Yeah. I'm doing so, and so uh, we just made it happen. All right. We got together this past uh, uh, last. Last Thursday. Yes, sir. Last Thursday. Say that my name is Micah uh, Jackson. I'm I'm raised, born and raised in Quitman. Um, I've been in Dallas. My aunt uh, basically took over the job of raising me. She is just like a mother, Kasha Brown. Mm -hmm. um, so I lived my life up here like a normal, average person. Mm -hmm. um, I literally um, went from being married. I was mm -hmm. married, tied down to a narcissist. I know there's a lot mm -hmm. of women that go through it every day, yeah, including yeah, men. Yeah. I'm not gonna take from it, but I was in a situation. I'm 32. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I woke up one day and got out of it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, regardless of the sacrifices I made, um, I literally gave up my town home, you know, ended up with flat tires, you know, stuff that people go through, but it didn't stop how, me. How did, you, how did you end up with flat tires? Narcissists, they're crazy. Um, well, that, that, and, well, that, that's a, that's somebody was about to turn violent or did turn violent. It didn't get there. I was blessed. It didn't get that mm -hmm. point. But, you know, you have to. I planned. Mm -hmm. um, it literally took me two years mm -hmm. to plan to get out of that eight-year relationship. Okay. Um, and literally, I, I didn't care. I didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. I didn't care what was going on in my life. I knew it was time. It was time. I missed my idol and me, my grandma. Oh, no, I know that's right. <laughs> yeah, so it's literally mm -hmm. I gave up everything, put my stuff in storage. I, was, uh, I started learning how to sew. Mm -hmm. I stayed up to three or four in the morning, days on end, really? learning how to sew. And uh -huh. I literally started making masks uh -huh. and started selling them out of my truck. So I'll go to Quick Trip, I'll uh -huh. go any places uh -huh. and just sell masks. Uh -huh. And literally within five months, I got an apartment. Mm -hmm. I'm established as far as I'm following my dreams. Mm -hmm. um, I feel it as a blessing. I don't take nothing from what I went through. Sure. Um, because a narcissist will show you who you need to be. Mm -hmm. Um, people take it as a, a thing, a bad thing. It's not. It's, it's a really a good They'll thing. They'll show you what you need to be. They'll and then they end up getting abused, uh, harmed, or even possibly killed. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's in, I, I'm from my family history. You, you should know. Mm -hmm. We don't play that type no, of stuff. No, don't play that kind of stuff. Ooh, we don't. So, you know, I, I had to plan in order mm -hmm. to protect who I am. You know, mm -hmm. I know there's people who have kids and people who go through different things, but, mm -hmm. you know, I just made it work for me, got mm -hmm. out of it, and now I just try to help other women or, you mm -hmm. know, if people want advice, I run across so many people yeah. that, like, oh, my God, I don't know what I'm going through, but I give mm -hmm. them hope because after what I went through, you wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. If you go to my page, you would mm -hmm. never thought that I was going through anything. There's a yeah. certain picture on my page, literally me in heels on a, uh, I think it was a Corvette. Uh -huh. I'm like, I'm living my best life. But nobody knew I was homeless at that time. Wow. I didn't. I was literally selling masks out of my trunk. Mm -hmm. I was there, staying place to place. I never let it stop me. If you're not careful, you spend the rest of your life uh, uh, wallowing in mud and feeling sorrowful, feeling sorry for yourself. But get up. Oh, get yes. Get up. Get up. Get up. A yes. thousand times <laughs> I've been knocked to the ground, sweetheart, and audience. And a thousand times I got up. But each time that I got up, I was much more improved from having had the experience. Experience means everything. Mm -hmm. From what I've learned through, I, that's what made me who I am. <laughs> um, you know, you can let things you go through in your past either dictate your future. Mm -hmm. It's sure. comfort. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes. A oh, lot well, of... Well, I'll go ahead and... It's comfort. You get uh, so comfortable in the life you live or the, the normal routines, but mm -hmm. are you happy? Yeah. It's about happiness. We never know what can happen tomorrow. Like, if mm -hmm. I die tomorrow, I'll be considered happy. Mm -hmm because I've been living my life. I would have been not happy in the situation I was in. Yeah. Um, and it's just now with me tapping in all my talents, mm -hmm. it, you know, I'm doing this for me, mm -hmm. but it's like now I'm actually starting to affect people around the world. Mm -hmm. um, even with my businesses, I sell in UK, mm -hmm. France, London, I sell all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, and I have people following me on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I have 12K, it's fans, I'm entertaining. Um, because also too, I do pole dancing at my house. So I don't mm -hmm. work on no clubs. Yeah. I'm not doing no private dances, but yeah. that's my piece. Uh -huh. Everyone also has to find your piece. Uh -huh. uh, mine is, you know, from my, you know, history as far as my mother. She mm -hmm. was a good dancer back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm cool with understanding who she used to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my dad was, he's actually considered, um, you know, he's actually in prison, been doing two life sentences right now. I mm -hmm. literally never got a chance to experience that part. Mm -hmm. But with those different things, I literally latch on and I just branch out of who I am. So on my TikTok, I show who I am every day. So it's from my pole dancing, it's from my businesses, it's from me DJing, because mm -hmm. I also DJ mm -hmm. um, for DJ Bring That Beat Back. Mm -hmm. So that's my DJ uncle. DJ Bring That Beat Back. Man, oh, look, yeah. and what his talent, oh my God. Like, yeah. I, I literally idol how 
I take the positive. I have so many people like, man, the stuff you're doing, it makes mm -hmm. me want to get up and do something. Yeah, yeah. You always have a negative, but yeah. negative won't make or break because at mm -hmm. the end of the day, mm -hmm. and you know this, Joe, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, who got to go answer? Right. You got to, yes. we got to go answer yeah. by ourselves. Yes. That's right. Yes. And whatever makes me lucky wrist right when I started. So I started right. my business as I was making jewelry uh, bracelets for doctors, nurses, to cover their tattoos because we are all judged by tattoos. I'm now lucky one accessories because I branched out. I make everything. Um, it's about personality and customize. Customize. Mm -hmm. um, so I design things uh, from jewelry, masks, bracelets, uh, bags, um, anything mm -hmm. you can possibly think of. It's custom. Um, from there, I went to Lucky Cartel. Okay. Lucky Cartel is basically my clothing line. Okay. So I want to make clothes that's different. I want to make clothes for, you know, women that are skinny and be like, oh, I want to look like I got a shape. And then women who are, you know, a bigger women, nice size women, and they want to look like a certain way. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help complement your shape at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, as well as I make different bags. That, mm -hmm. um, and then I went to graphics. Okay. So... I also do graphics. I do logos. Um, I design websites. The list goes on. Uh, to relax and do whatever. Uh, he's this great big huge football player. And so uh, he found his niche and relaxation in knitting. Yeah, he learned to actually knit, you know, and, uh, and, and, and this kind of thing. And so uh, ensuring that, you know, folks, are, uh, well, you know, maybe you can't get on the pole and spin around it. <laughs> Maybe without bending it or <laughs> whatsoever, but but something. And uh, and I, I used to. Uh, I, I love music. I oh, love music, music is uh, it's a vibe oh, with music, oh, and oh, yeah, it's a yeah. key. It's a key mm -hmm. to happiness. We go through so many things. Mm -hmm. Honestly, music has ha helped me get through so much. Yes, yes. And so it was so relaxing. And then, but so many folks uh, don't know how to find themselves in themselves. It's, uh, like it's, uh, I, I want to say this is kind of like off subject, but from what I review or view the world, because I was raised by my grandma, mm -hmm. um, back in the day, we didn't have all the technology. We didn't have oh, all right. the stuff that we yeah, have right now. Yeah. People are so worried about people judging them yes, yes. that they don't know how to live. Oh, 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 excuse me. You just said something that, that just, just registered then. There, there are all of these contests that are going on. The ghost singer or what do they call it? The ghost singer and, and Texas, I mean. Somebody has, somebody, America's got talent, and there's yeah. always things, and there's somebody out there judging you, and people by the, probably the tens of millions, watch those programs, somebody is judging somebody else, and so they get into a mindset that somebody's judging them, even if they're not. So I, I as far as some of your designs, or I'm not saying designs, correct me, uh, so as far as some of your creations, like in clothing, do you just uh, uh, create uh uh, clothing for, for women? No, I do men as well. Mm -hmm. So I actually uh, did a couple artists in East Texas, um, <laughs> the outfits for Pooh, um, King. Um, they actually had a music video shoot. Mm -hmm. And so I made a lot of the outfits that they had in the music oh, really? video. Really? Yeah, so it's King Plex and Pooh. Um, they're located in Mineola. I guess right. You, you know, yeah. they fix or repair that. And, uh, and you don't see a lot of that in uh, in our community here, but, but you find that, that no, you think, so, well, how can people make money, uh, uh, you know, doing that, but, uh, but they do. Yeah. But they do, you know. There's a million ways to make money. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's really about what do you want to do? Because all these jobs work every day. Mm -hmm. I used to work for Fidelity and I was there for three years. Mm -hmm. Um, I know how to be a broker. Um, I type 80 and 90 words a minute. So mm -hmm. all of these different jobs or careers or walks, walks of life I've took, taken mm -hmm. has actually made me into who I am. You mm -hmm. either can take that with you and build who you are, or mm -hmm. you can continue to work for someone. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with it regardless which way you go. You hear before you go over the cases, uh, uh, help me out. Uh, find the weather for the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex for the the next couple of days, Friday and into Saturday, because I'll be back on the air on Saturday. Oh, so, yeah. So, so what, what did you find this What we're looking at is for okay. Friday, the high is going to be 80, low is 71. We're looking good. at thunderstorms oh. all day. Oh, wow. So make sure you have a jacket mm -hmm. or at least an umbrella. You're uh -huh. going to need yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and then Saturday, we're looking at high 79, low 70. Now, it is going to be thunderstorms in the morning time, but by night, we'll have light rain. We should be back mm -hmm. to normal. Yeah, well,